Okay, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm in my car. I got a lot of running around to, to do today. And I was getting a lot of phone calls, texts, messages on Telegram telling me that Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram are down. And I'm like, okay, so what's the big deal? People are like, dude, this is big news. I'm like, what? Wh why? They're asking me, why am I not phased? Because why am I not phased? I mean, this is the inevitable. This is what was going to happen no matter what, right? And this is why we need more Web3 applications and networks like the polka dots of the world you know ethereum bitcoin so on and so forth just every chain pretty much for the most part that has more than one node right because this is the beautiful thing about let's call it crypto blockchain or decentralized web3 networks is what there's not one point of authority or one centralized figure that has the power to turn on the light to turn them off this is a clear cut prime example and don't take this the wrong way i'm glad this happened because it makes my job as somebody who promotes this space the web3 space the decentralized space crypto blockchain it makes my job a heck of a lot easier to explain this to the average joe who aren't too aware of crypto or web3 or decentralization and they're like what's that word chain block or blockchain or you know and and, and crypto it sounds kind of spooky sounds like it's illegal well it makes my job a heck of a lot easier when people actually you know learn from this the hard way or learn from this in a we real world application that word gets that terminology gets turned um thrown around quite often well here you go here's your real world application of what decentralization is right and um yeah facebook is one part of that and you know another factor of being centralized is what we have to pretty much bow down to, you know, these companies like, like Facebook, right? They have all of our private data. You know, they know what websites we visit. They sell it to advertisers. That's another side of the things where it comes to centralization is not good. You know, us here in the crypto space, if you're coming across this video, you know, and um, you don't really know what it's all about, but us here in the crypto space, for the most part, it's like... We just go about our daily lives. We do our thing. We try to help each other out. And um, we understand how the world was built. So this is me trying to, you know, put my message out there and educate everybody on what's happening right here. And it's inevitable also for the masses to transition and adopt Web3 applications and networks, okay? You guys are going to see this, you know. Um, you know, once again, I'll go back to everybody in this space. Not only do we have to give up all of this, you know, all of our private data to these, you know, Facebooks of the world and so on and so forth and have everything recorded and sell it to advertisers, but we'd be banking coin too, <laughs> you know? So not only is it better from a security standpoint, but it's also better... From a financial standpoint, I mean, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for everyone, but um, you know, you know, we're highly secured. You know, it's it's pretty much you know allowing people to be financially included, and also it's far more um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, yeah, protective, right? It's going to be very hard to hack a entire network. It's going to be very hard to do that, okay? Very hard. You're going to have to actually overtake, um, you know, 50% of those nodes or servers, okay? So think of Facebook. They essentially just have one themselves, okay? They are the central point of authority that could turn on or off the lights, okay? If they go down, everything goes down as you see right now. And I think they're calling it some sort of like storm. I don't think it's a storm, okay? So once again, if you're coming across this video, maybe you got hurt. Maybe, you know, you can't. I don't know, message somebody on Facebook or put out your thoughts and you're saying, man, this sucks. Well, welcome on and come on aboard to the Web3 world, okay? We're now getting started and there's plenty of room for everyone. I invite you, do subscribe to my channel, The Crypto Lifestyle. That's what I share here on this channel. I share you get with you guys the knowledge of this space and the opportunities also from a, um, you know, a perspective of somebody who, like myself, who invests, okay? So if that's what you're interested in, you'll find the right guy in the the right channel and most importantly the right community don't take this the wrong way i'll leave you guys at this i'm actually happy this happened because it's going to open up the eyes to a lot of people a lot of newbies who don't know that web3 applications and networks exist okay this is from the security standpoint okay so what happens now facebook let's just say they got hacked what happens to all of our data is that going to be taken away too uh, into the wrong hands well these these things are real issues and it's inevitable that everyone migrates on over to web3 get with the program we're not going anywhere we're now getting started as a matter of fact just like how the internet just started on facebook and you know kids start to use it college kids and then now we've got our grandparents on it right this is how web3 is going to be right everyone's going to slowly adopt so you might as well start now all right guys and that's all i got for y'all keep safe out there keep your chin up and uh the future is bright
later. <laughs>